Good day, America. This is J.W. Scroggy, and I'm running for president in 2016. For y'all just joining us, this is day 253 of my campaign on this walk to the White House, and I'm doing a day-by-day -day journal on YouTube, so come and join the Party America. Throughout the days, we have named our party. We took a vote uh, over a two-month period, and we came up with uh, about 30 different names, and we had a vote off one night, and we've been collecting votes, and Party America won. So that's the name of the party. So come and join Party America. We got a board back here. And that's a Hopi Indian uh, tribal little tw twingler toy. I got Hopi Indian get it to me because I, uh, I gave him a ride. And uh, then I gave him a painting of mine. So we exchanged. But he didn't know that. I left the doorstep. I left the painting on the doorstep and hightailed it. But uh, I got an invite to the Hopi Reservation. So we're going to go check that out in this campaign. We gotta get a Winnebago first, and then we're gonna haul to the first thing we're gonna do is go see the Hopi. But this is a uh, long term and short term board. So we're gonna write our goals on this board, and after that, see what happens. But it's Scroggy 16. The main point of this transmission is I wanted to tell y'all that I don't understand politics anymore, like presidents. Why is a president now at war with any other president besides one of their own party? It's kind of ridiculous that, like, when Obama takes over, he blames it all on Bush. Or when Bush comes in, he goes, oh, well, that was Clinton. I mean, it's not a sport. We're not playing ball here, boys. You're supposed to be on each other's team, no matter what. So if I was in president and I had a really bad team come in, I'm not going to blame the team. No. I'm a rally of the team. Hey guys, you know what we could do better? We can spend less than a million dollars per toilet that we put into a uh, facility here on uh, the White House. Or maybe, you know, instead of bailing out all the bankers that blew the country up, Goldman Sachs, oh, oh yeah, that, well they're, my, they're in my treasury department, but maybe instead of bailing them out for selling bad loans to everybody, we can take that money It don't make any f***ing sense. So when they had these commercials that they battle each other and all these presidents and Republicans and Democrats always try to get your head turning, is this them playing games? They all work on the same team secretly. But they put this facade up of, oh, you got to make a choice, America. You got to make a choice. You got to make a choice now. No. They're on the same team. And they blame, they blame each other on stuff. They make bad commercials about each other. You will never see a commercial from my campaign that's going to just say anything about any other candidates. I speak the truth. I speak my words. I don't waste my time trying to tell you not to vote for somebody. That's not the American way. Politics has turned into a bunch of low shots, lobbyists. Uh, just scumbags. And it's time to get in there as Americans and clean it up. And Scroggy 16 is the biggest sweeper coming right now. I don't see a bigger sweeper. It's kind of ridiculous that, uh, oh, we got to rush this bill through because the next president might stop it. What does that even mean? I don't understand. Presidents are supposed to help each other, you know? It's the American consciousness that votes these presidents in, supposedly. I think it's time for America to really join hands and wake up and realize that these presidents, they're trying to tell you this guy's bad, I'm good, and the other guy says this guy's bad, I'm good. Why are they fighting? We are Americans. We shouldn't have a drawing contest and see who can draw the best. We have a drawing contest and see who can add to the drawing and make it a better drawing. We don't have to erase it every time. Where are we going to get as a society if we erase the chalkboard every time a new president comes in? It is Scroggy 16. I'm telling y'all to watch out for these Republicans and watch out for these Democrats because they're after themselves. And Scroggy 16 is here for you, America. I'm telling you the truth. I'm speaking from the heart right now. It is Scroggy 16. Don't fall for the fakers. It's time to get with the program. It's time to get real. It's time to get with yourself and understand that you can make a difference. Scroggy 16. Thank you for your support, America.